Now that Gutenberg's here, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to do things. It's a lot different to use Gutenberg than the classic editor, and a lot of things that you may be familiar with and are used to using are just different. One of those questions I've been getting is how do you upload a PDF and share it in a poster page? Um, it's pretty different, so I'm going to walk you through how to do it. So I'm just going to add a new post to my, um, my test site I have here. I'm going to give it a title maybe put in a block of um, text here. And now down here, I'm ready to add my PDF. So I'm gonna add a new block. And on these choices, if under most used, you don't see one for file, which you probably won't if you haven't done this before, you're gonna keep scrolling down to common blocks. And then you're gonna choose file. And this is something that we never had in Classic Editor was the ability to upload a file. You could upload it to the media library just like you would an image, but it didn't tell you it was a file. You uploaded it like it was an image. So I'm gonna choose Upload, and I'm gonna find my PDF I wanna share, open it up, and now I have some choices I need to make. It, by default, gives me a download button and then puts um, the name of the document right here. Um, so this is a terrible name. So what I might do here is just put in a little sample text about what this download is going to be. Um, so let's see, find, read and print your application now. Okay, then it gives me a download button and this works. Um, so I'm going to publish it so we can take a look. And what happens here is it's got my note, read and print your application, along with the download button. I click on any either of those and it downloads to my desktop. Great, exactly what I wanted. But let's go through and look at a couple of more options. Um, when you're down here looking at it, if you don't want a download button, over on the right you have the option not to have one. And if you want this PDF to open in a new tab, you can turn that on there too. Uh, you can copy the URL and post and make a link to it anywhere in your text. And now I'll update, view my post, and I have that as a link here or with my link down here. And that's how you add a PDF or, you know, you could do this with a Word doc or a text doc, whatever you want to share on your poster page. Um, you're just going to use that um, block for adding a file. I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, leave me a comment uh, if you have questions or if you've done this and it was successful. Thanks.